chromosome chromosome is the basic structure of every eukaryotic cell we inherit some special characters from our parents through the chromosomes but in case of an undividing cell that means the cell which do not goes into the division the structure of chromosome is not valid for those cells that means the structure of chromosomes is only valid for the cells which undergoes the division that means the cell which undergoes the division in those cells the actual structure of chromosome appears our dna length is 1.8 meter but our dna is compacted into 90 armstrong in space so from 1.8 meter to 90 armstrong it is a very difficult job for a cell to compact its dna in this video i am going to discuss about the dna packaging that means from dna to chromosome from dna to chromosome how dna packages themselves in a small tiny area hello friends welcome to biology concern myself animesh so let's jump into the topic first thing the chromosome chromosome comes from a greek word that means chroma and zoma chroma means color and zoma means body so it is stands for chromosome stands for colored body that means when we introduce some stains into the chromosomes the chromosomes are likely to take up those stains and produce a color okay so that is the meaning of chromosome that is color body previously i told you that our dna length is 1 0.8 meter and 1.8 meter of dna is packed into 90 armstrong of area let me give you an example so you will understand the thing very much well if you took a ball pen the nib of ball pen can accommodate 10000 of cells and 10000 of nucleus so in that tiny space we actually seen 10000 of nucleuses if each nucleus is consisted of 46 chromosomes that means the tiny cell tiny place is consisted of 460000 of chromosomes okay so this is the basic things okay so how that much of dna that means 1.8 meter of dna can compacted in the form of chromosome so here is the structure or diagram of dna packaging okay so first you see here that is the dna double helix structure that means the structure we actually observed under the microscope so here we clearly observe a dna double helix structure if we continuously zoom out just like our camera so dna double helix structure is coiled and it looks like a thread in here after that it passes through some proteins or it wraps through some proteins that is the proteins are known as histone proteins so histone proteins that is consisted of h1 h2a h2b h3 and h4 so h2a h2b h3 and h4 makes a core octamer in which a dna wraps itself up and produces a nucleosome this is a structure of nucleosome okay so by making a nucleosome it actually bends it and it actually produces 
a two nanometer fiber. In the two nanometer fiber, next those tiny nucleosomes are wrapped themselves around and produces a eleven nanometer structure. After that, those nucleosomes wrapped themselves around and make it more and more coiled up and produces a solenoid. Just like our physics, if we take a rod or battery and coil some wire, wrap some wire around it, it produces a solenoid. In this case, nucleosomes wrap themselves around and produces a solenoid. Here, the fiber length is three hundred nanometer. After that, those solenoids coil themselves up again and again and produces a super coil, which is seven hundred nanometer in length. So, 700 nanometer in length. After that, those super coils pack themselves up and coil themselves up and produces a chromatin fiber. That is the main thing, chromatin fiber. In an undividing cell, that means the cell which does not undergo through the cell division, we clearly observe here chromatin fibers, but not the chromosomes. So, in case of an undividing cell, that means the cell that does not go into further go into a cell division. In those cells, in case of those cells, we clearly observe chromatin fiber, but not the chromosomes. So, in case here chromatin fiber present, chromatin fiber produced, after chromatin fiber produced, it is the final product for an undividing cell. If this cell undergo the cell division that means either meiosis or mitosis it go through the steps prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase in the first phase subphase that is prophase in where those chromatin fibers are compacted more and produces a chromosome in case here the structure is metaphase chromosome in the in the stage metaphase we clearly observe a particular chromosome structure that is under 40x resolution and the most common practical to observe chromosome is a grasshopper meiosis cell division stage. So, in case of grasshopper meiosis cell division, we prepare a grasshopper testis lobe and stain them and observe them under 40x resolution in the microscope. So, the objective is 40x and ocular is 10x. So, total resolution is 400x. So, in 400x magnification, we clearly observe a particular metaphase chromosome. In case here, this is one of the chromosome and this is one of the chromosome. Both the chromosomes are joined together by a common point that is known as centromere. So, centromere is a point where two chromosomes attach themselves up and it is a 80 rich sequence. That means adenine and thymine is abundant in case of centromere region. In this case, in metaphase chromosome, those particular chromosomes, single chromosomes are known as chromatids. Okay. So, chromatids, when upper two chromosomes join themselves or two identical chromosomes, in this case, metaphase chromosome, two identical chromosomes join themselves in a common centromere, by common centromere, each of the chromosome is known as chromatids and 
these chromatids this chromatid suppose we here consider this a and this b so a is now sister chromatid of b and b is now sister chromatid of a a and b is identical so we call them sister chromatids let's jump into the discovery part so in 1880 theodore bovary gave the definitive demonstration that chromosomes are the vector for heredity that means some special character or some character which we inherit from our parents means like example pattern baldness or hairy pina in case of hairy pina there is a hair present in our pina region or ear region okay so both of the characters are y chromosome linked and in only found in case of the male member of the family so those hairy pina and pattern baldness pass from father to son son to his son and his son and it goes on okay so it is actually male specific character so it goes to male from male to male to male to male etc the male members of the family inherit those characters as they contains y chromosome in there next one is in 1865 gregor johan mendel so gregor johan mendel uh, point out the connection between the rules of inheritance and behavior of chromosome so mendel first found or observed that the chromosome is the main part that is responsible for inheritance okay next in 1923 theophilus painter published the number of human chromosome that is 46 in our case okay i think this video is helpful to understand the proper packaging of the dna and existence of chromosome in an undividing or dividing cell that means in case of undividing cell the turn chromosome does not vary or does not exist but in case of dividing cell that means the cell which undergoes the division either meiosis or mitosis they actually shows the structure of chromosome but in an in case of undividing cell we particularly observe the structure of chromatin okay so in here from dna to chromosome now this is the total video about dna to chromosome as our dna length is 1.8 meter and it coils up in 90 am strong in region that means a very tiny uh, amount of uh, space and those requires a lot of superficiality or lots of complexity and those complexity are gained by the specific proteins that is the histone proteins those histone proteins first pack the dna itself and after that it coils up it coils up and again it produces a solenoid as more further coiling further coiling process and in, in the last form it produces a super coil that is more further more and more coiling occurs than the dna double helix i think this video is totally helpful for you to understand the relationship between dna chromatin and chromosome so please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching